Hello and welcome to Axel's Martingale Simulator. We all receive spam emails almost every day and in a lot of them we are being told about a system how to make money in online casinos playing roulette. The system is the Martingale strategy and a lot of times it's actually being sold as an insider tip. Well, if you haven't heard about the Martingale strategy, I recommend you do some research on the internet and I'm sure you will find a lot about it, uh, including an article on Wikipedia, for example. But the strategy basically says that when playing the simple odds, namely red, black, even, uneven or low and high, one should double up the stake after every lost game until the next win. This way you can make up for the previous losses and even make a small profit on top of that. Because if you win you will get 100% of your stake as profit, whereas if you lose your stake will be lost. These simple odds are kind of 50-50 chance, but not really, because in roulette there's also the zero and in American casinos even an additional double zero, in which case half of your stake will be lost. And that is the reason why it is not a 50-50 chance anymore, so you really have to keep that in mind. All in all, it's highly doubtful that this strategy can actually lead to a regular income in casinos, but to examine this a little bit closer and to see it in practice, I programmed a Martingale simulator in Excel using VBA that allows you to put the strategy to a test and also small variations of it. The simulator itself looks like this and is actually very easy to handle. Here in the top right there is a list of settings that you can make for this uh, simulation. This is your start budget obviously and your minimum stake which is going to be doubled in the course of the simulation during a series of losses. And how this doubling up is going to look like you can see in this table over here. And this is actually another interesting fact that you have to consider because most of the casinos will not allow you to double up your stake unlimited because there is actually a limit for the stake that you can make, uh, at least for these uh, simple odds. And uh, this of course also affects your overall strategy, right? And the next thing here in this uh, list of settings is the number of games in this simulation. And right now it's on 500, but it would actually be nice to know how many roulette games you are actually you can actually make in an evening or in a day uh, in, a, in a casino. And once you find out that number, you can enter that figure here and make a realistic run through and a realistic simulation thereof. But uh, for the moment, I will just leave it uh, at 500, and that would probably be a very ambitious um, gambling day in a casino, I guess. But uh, yeah, just let's just leave it there. The next is the maximum number of loss series that you are going to tolerate, or in other words, how many times do you want to double up your stake? And after reaching that number, you can change something. And what you can change, you can enter here in the next two rows. One thing that you can change is you can change your strategy. So if you lost a lot of money or a lot of times by betting on black, maybe now you want to start betting on red instead. And the other thing is that you can go back to the minimum stake and basically you are accepting your, your loss and you basically you go and start from scratch again or alternatively you can just keep the last stake. So in that particular case you would keep your stake at the seven times doubled minimum stake. And that is actually quite an interesting variation of the strategy and for sure you will not be able to recover from the previous losses but at least you will be able to reduce the loss in case that loss series is persisting and not coming to an end anytime soon. So um, I think it's very really an interesting variation and of course you are very welcome to, to try that one as well. And uh, the last thing here in this uh, list of settings is what happens if your stake exceeds the budget. So do you want to risk the remaining budget, the whole remaining budget, so all or nothing kind of? Or do you want to go back to the minimum stake and start from scratch again? And uh, once all these uh, settings are sorted out, you are good to go and you can start the simulation by just uh, clicking on that button over here. And 
as you can see the first run through already leads to a yeah, complete loss and uh, but before we have a look what happened there uh, I just quickly want to explain to you what you can see here in this uh, in this column here on the left you have like a heat map um, which is basically the occurrence of the numbers and uh, in the column to the right this is basically the count of loss series so for example 34 times uh, you won straight at the first attempt and uh, 22 times you lost one time and nine times you lost two times in a row and so on and so forth the next column is basically the balance of your budget so 500 was the start budget two was the minimum stake and you bet on black and the first game you lost because it came red so you started to double up your stake once twice and then uh, finally once uh, you did this three times you finally won and you were able to recover from that loss as I said earlier and you made a small profit even on top of that and uh, uh, here you can see the you ran into a zero you hit a zero or maybe a double zero this uh, green here and um, a zero or a double zero is also counted as a loss even though you're not losing your whole stake but only half of it it's still a loss so just for information um, this is also counted as a loss and of course all the numbers and the colors they are generated by a randomizer engine uh, in the background that's what is the what the macro is doing and um, if you look here on this graph you can see that you were able to to build up your budget until you ran into this long series of losses and if you look here into the count you can see that there is a, a loss series of 10 times in a row uh, that occurred once and if we scroll down we will be able to see that loss series and um, there you go there's the first one here and as you can see you you started to double up to double up but finally you were not able to to double up anymore or you just hit your number your maximum number and then you started back with a with a minimum stake but as you can see it is a it is a large drop in your in your budget and um, this is why you were not profitable in the end so we can just run the simulation a few more times and this is the first time that we can actually make some profit here now but it all depends on the the loss series the length of the loss series uh, that you encounter so the maximum loss series here was a seven time in a row loss which occurred three times and, and since our maximum tolerated loss series was actually seven we were able to recover each time and um, so that's why you can build up your your budget but um, sooner or later you will run into a longer series of losses and this is when you start losing money and when the casino is actually the lucky one and um, looking over here you can see there is a small history here so the result of each simulation is locked in every color uh, sorry in every row here and if you change some something in the settings here and then there is a little comment box that will tell you about it so this one here for example uh, it it includes all the the parameters of your settings and uh, by looking into your history you can then see what kind of settings you were using yeah and um, that's the that's the martingale simulator as I said earlier, um, you're welcome to try different settings, different strategies and see whether this whole thing is uh, working for you or not. And of course, you are free to download this file for free on my website www.excel.webspace.rocks. And of course, I'm always interested to hear your comments, your feedback. And um, yeah, that's it from my side and I thank you for your attention.